Ah. Victor, Victor. Well, good morning. Welcome back to uh, International School Manila. 2015. No, you need to turn it on. Ah. Sorry if you had to watch the first game this morning in, in silence. Um, might be a little bit better than listening to my voice sometimes. But we've just been watching the boys take on Jakarta, Intercultural School. Jakarta with a, a good win, a very close game. A 1-0 with a, a late penalty. Bearcats unable to muster any clear chances in the last few minutes to get an equaliser. Now we have ISKL versus ISM. The Panth Panthers versus the Bearcats on our main field. Got about a minute to go before the kickoff. Just quickly read through the teams as best I can. For International School Kuala Lumpur, we have Stephanie Govertz, Ashley Monsami, Iona Styli Nidis, Zaina Tabassi, Kiara de Brabant, Claire Nan, Shannon Carlton Strang, Lindsay Krieger. Kennedy Lewis, Andrea Handel, Alejandra Moreno, Taylor Newbolt, who I believe is number seven. Someone confirmed that yesterday for me. Sent me a tweet to uh, confirm her name. Sophia, I believe, is younger sister. Aviona, Kaya McLeod, Jocelyn Lee, and Maya Nazareth. For the Bearcats, we have Captain, Grade 12, four-year participant, Andy Preisler, Natasha Carlisle, Megan Martin, Lau Pena, Georgina Pekin, Sienna Hagedorn, Malika Jamal, Paulina Carlson, who I believe sustained an injury yesterday. I don't think she'll be taking part in the, in the game today. I think she's rested on the bench. Hopefully she'll be back to, um, back to the team, hopefully give something either this afternoon or tomorrow. Hannah Riley, Trinity McPherson, Kenza Malling, Ali Preisler, Natty Gonzalez, Madison McPherson, Daniela Vanderbrink, and Steffi Fernandez. That'll be our teams for today. All the players lining up on the far side of the field, ready to go. It looks like ISKL will be attacking from left to right on the camera in white and the ISM Bearcats in black playing from right to left in the first half. Just a reminder the games are 35 minutes a half. If the temperatures get too hot, it's around 32 degrees right now, then they will have an enforced three minute rehydration break after 20 minutes. So the team's walking out onto the field. ISM, two disappointing results yesterday. We'll be looking to make amends. Kuala Lumpur also looking to improve on their results from yesterday. So day two of ISIS. Well, looks like the players are changing, changing halves. So the Bearcats attacking from left to right. And KL in white, going from right to left. There's a Looks like I7 have made a few changes, starting at right side midfield, Lau Pena starting at left back is Natty Gonzalez, could be an early touch for Natty, ball just goes over ahead to Hannah Riley, Hannah Riley with a header and a clearance. ISKL right midfield player just taking the ball out of, out of bounds there. Just to repeat, as with yesterday, it's very difficult to see the numbers on the 
ISL KL shirts. They have white numbers on a white shirt. Um, so it's, it's not so easy to see quite a few of them, especially on the far side of the field. But I'll do my best to recognize their efforts, put in their name to their plate. Manila with a little bit of defending to do early on. Comes out to number 14, KL, the left back. Which is Lau Pena with a little pass inside to Trinity. Malika Jamal there with a long pump ball. All the way through to that. But it's not, it's not inside the box. Goalkeeper's got a problem to deal with. Ashley Munsami there with a with a clearance. And a good clearance it was. Surgeon run down the line there from yesterday's scorer, Kiara de Brabant, number 12. Looks like she's not going to take the corner. I think KL have a, a short corner set piece here. I think it'd be wise for Manila to send a player out to the, the two players in the corner. Manila coach is screaming her head off. Steph's screaming her head off at the players there to close it down, a little bit slow to react. And the set piece nearly pays off and here he is with a shot on the edge of the box to the goalkeeper. Megan Martin takes it at the second attempt. Rolls the ball down the line to Lau Pena. Lau Pena unable to get onto the end of that ball. But now she does. Tries a little pass inside. Picked up by ISKL. Andrea Preisler clears the ball, clears the lines. And unfortunately, ball knocked out of play. Check, check. By Trinity McPherson. Number seven, thank you very much for uh, whoever sent me the tweet yesterday. Number seven for KL is Taylor Newbolt. Wasn't, wasn't named in our program. And um, if you want to give us any information or you want to shout out, let us know where you're watching in the world. Send me a tweet to at Doddy Bearcat. Oh, sorry, at ba Bearcat Doddy. And could the people in Madagascar just slow down on your requests for shoutouts? We are incredibly popular for unknown reasons in the uh, the uh, small country of Madagascar. Madagascar and Trinidad, I believe. The hit is in Tobago, though. Is it Trinidad and Tobago or Trinidad and Tobago? Um, if you're English, Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, they always seem to be hanging out together. Inseparable, as some would say. They do, they do indeed. We had a, a tweet yesterday from Sam Omidi, who's actually following the game from Iran. Tehran, no less. Is she an Ayasa Salam? Uh, what does she say? I don't remember. She just says, good luck to ISKL from Iran, Tehran. So, good luck to ISKL from Tehran, Iran. Erin O'Reilly gave us a mention yesterday. She's got her nose out of her college textbooks for once. She's good to hear. Thank you very much, Erin. Chris Carlisle, watching the Bearcats. He's enjoying watching the games, disappointed with the results. Now, result-wise, how did the uh, Bearcat girls football team do yesterday? Yeah. Disappointing. They lost their first game 5-1 to one against a very strong Singapore Eagles team. But then um, they had a tougher, not tougher rather, they had a tough game yesterday evening in the final game against Jakarta. Jakarta winning 1-0. And you know how ISKL did yesterday? I know they lost their first... Sorry, they... They may have won their first game against Jakarta. I can't remember how they did in their... Their next game. I'm not too up to date on the results up here. Um, but we'll find that out for you. Bearcats just had a uh, corner kick attempt, 
And ISKL to try to clear the ball out. Taylor Newbolt today taking the goal kicks. There she is again, just tidying things up. Actually, no, that's not Taylor. Taylor's right at the center now. Those of you listening yesterday will be happy to know that no first grade teachers were injured in the exuberance of their students when first grade teachers were hoisted over the heads of the uh, cheering elementary students given their enthusiasm over a uh, goal that they thought was scored. Teachers, bring your students out and uh, it's a lot of fun having those. Maybe someday there'll be a uh, elementary IASIS and the bigger kids can cheer for the younger kids. That would be fantastic. I think there's rumor of a uh, four-square championship taking place in, uh, amongst the middle school IASIS teams. But as you would probably imagine, there's still a lot of debate over the rules of four-square, which are in a uh, constant state of flux. And if you're playing at ISM and our superintendent's walking around, don't kick the ball over the fence, kids. Golf, our newest IASIS event. Been going for two years now, I think. Third season, so any um, budding golfers out there new to the IS, IASIS scene, any of the six schools, then have a chat with your coaches, your athletic directors, and get ready for third season golf. Um, we haven't actually streamed any of that live yet. We're, we're just trying to gather a I don't know what you would call a group of segways. A herd, maybe. A herd of segways. Herd of segways to carry Running around the men around the golf course, following each of the, the teams and the groups as they play. And I, I hope there would be a need for audio commentary, because I feel that no sport would allow for more free range of ridiculous audio commentary than golf. Tennis, tennis was a, was, would be a close second. If you're looking for commentators, this is my resume. <laughs> I'd love to get on that gig. That would be fantastic. <laughs> Not sure what I would talk about, but um, I'm sure we will able to find things, as we do in the downtime here. But right now, Sienna, Sienna Hagedorn with a uh, free kick over on the far side. She's going to curl this one in. That's very close. I can't go for it. Is it back? Back? Go! Fantastic goal from Ali Preisler. Outside of the right foot, past the despairing dive of the KL goalkeeper. That's just what ISM Bearcats needed this morning. An opening goal early on, only 10 minutes gone. Sienna Haggard on there, right footed, in swing and free kick. Alicia Prizer dived in front of the goalkeeper, outstretched, outside of the right foot. Just turns the ball into the bottom corner. That's a great start for the Bearcats. And just the type of excitement you would expect is happening down in the stands below the uh, PCA which is the parent community association formerly known as the PTA is launching hot dogs straight into the air of the pneumatic hot dog launcher students are scattering everywhere trying to collect the uh, sandwiches that are falling from heaven like manna it is fantastic I just saw a great four boy catch one in his mouth unbelievable ISM again with a break, Trinity going down the left side, she pushes the ball into the box. Steffi Fernandez not a bit able to get on the end of it, a little bit of scrappy defending from KL. Eventually clear their lines, deflected clearance, goes out for a KL throw. Should any ISM think it's their ball, it's not though, it's a KL throw in. Should any ISM students choke on any of these hot dogs falling from heaven, I want the audience to rest assured that uh, all the teachers are fully trained in first aid. We recently uh, have been briefed and have even practiced it to some extent. So, eat away at those hot dogs, get Bearcat fans, eat away. Heilig Maneuver is German and they do eat a lot of sausages in Germany, so maybe it was an unfortunate sausage eater that introduced the world to the Heilig Maneuver. That's a great through ball there from Sien. Unfortunately, Daniela not able to get onto the end of that, but it was cleared. Looks like it's gonna be a corner to ISM.
wouldn't like to put any pressure on the, the teachers in your classes right now, but if you are at ISM and you're listening to this on your teacher's computer live feed, then the gentle chant of soccer, soccer, or football, football might encourage them to let you out of the lesson and come and watch the, <laughs> the game on the high school field. The Bearcats are playing. True spirit of IS, IASIS. Generally, the teachers are very, very kind and let you go out and watch the game, so just keep those chants very gentle, meandering, and inception may ensue your teacher will just stand up rise from his or her seat and escort you all pied piper like down to the high school field and what a field amazing grass turf that was planted just three months ago looking pristine as always equal everywhere in height and density Fantastic playing surface. The mower that they drive around actually looks more like a large uh, tropical Zamboni, as I like to call it. <laughs> the Tropaboni. All it needs is a, a couple of a couple of umbrellas sticking out the side, maybe an olive or two. During the uh, halftime, actually, you can maybe catch a glimpse of them driving the tropical Zamboni across the field, trying to uh, redo the surface. This is a good run for ISKL. Kiara de Brabant going down the line there, the number 12. Very influential player, very quick, skilled. Fortunately, she doesn't get that ball to one of her teammates. It's a late challenge there from one of the ISM players. Looked like a foul, but the referee's weird play on. KL now with a strike from outside the box. Box, but well gathered by Megan Martin. She's played a lot better in her second two games after a, a couple of errors. Very disappointed with herself yesterday, but improved immensely. Well handled by the Bearcats. Another chance. Trinity down the line there. Ball from her sister, but nice to do much with it. Andy Price, the captain there with a lunge and tackle. Nice tackle. She's very well. Very composed as she gets back to her feet and clears the ball for a throw in. That just allows the Bearcats time to reorganise at the back. All the players marked up now. Referee just asking the KL number 11 to return the ball to where it went out. Lindsay Krieger there just rolling the ball to a teammate, Claire Nang. Claire Nang's going to take the throw in, but substitution. Early substitution from both teams. Shannon Collin Strang came in around this time in yesterday's game, during the first game, and played exceptionally well at the back. Now, Daddy, is it true that we have no limit on substitutions in IASIS football? That's correct. Rolling substitutions for all of the games just allows a squad of only 16 players to stay as fresh as possible. Sometimes lose a bit of continuity in the, in the team and play sort of stops and starts, but it's a lot better to keep the players healthy, in my opinion. And speaking of starting and stopping, do we have a uh, mandatory hydration ruling in this match? Um, I think... The temperature is just creeping up to 33 degrees. I believe yesterday the ruling was if it got to 35 degrees, then they'd enforce a, a three-minute three minute rehydration stoppage. Trinity McPherson there, competing with the ISKL centre-back, Ashley Munsami. So it's dangerous play there, high uh, raised, raised for, it could be offside. The mystery corner behind the trees didn't see exactly what happened <laughs> down there. Well, that's a, a very high-risk pass from Ashley Down. Characteristically puts the uh, defence in trouble. But well cleared there by the... Number 14, Claire Nang. That should be a through ball. That should be this very... Be nice and hopefully not too dangerous. This will be a Bearcat throw-in. I'm yet to see any Pied Piper-like ISM teachers with a string of students following. Uh, cl classes. Nice. We've got a bit of space on the balcony here, both on the main balcony at the FAT, which is still nicely in shade. So any of your teachers who are complaining it's very hot outside, then um, convince them they can stand in the shade over there with, looks like Mr. Mr. Hobbins, I believe. 
very customer customary posture chin on chin on hand the thinker set up nearly oh, a strike there a missed opportunity Adam there Reisler, as I'm distracted by the thinker <laughs> Yes. Yes, two prizes. Andy Prizler, um, senior, four year participant, who's a captain this year, and a sister, Ali Prizler, plays out on the left side. There's a shot from range from Madison McPherson, but just over the bar. I think the ISL goalkeeper would have had that covered. So far, it's been uh, more Bearcats than ISKL, much to the delight of the cheering throngs of fans that we have here, although there is still some space for more throngs of fans. We've not yet reached throng capacity. Got a tweet from Maya Paterno. Just let this shot see how the keeper deals with it. She deals with it very well. A tweet from uh, my Maya Paterno. Best of luck girls supporting y'all. And she's supporting us all the way from Texas. So the the offside. I would have thought that was offside. I'm glad the obligatory y'all was thrown into that. It's coming from Texas. Unfortunately, I can't read the second part of her tweet online, but please send your clean tweets to at Bearcat Buddy. I will give you a mention from wherever you are in the world. Okay. Mr. Dingrando is going to leave us. He is a teacher. Although he does teach robotics, which, um, which is awesome. Robotics is the new PE I hear. ISM still keeping the ball in the KL half. This is good for good for the Bearcats. Another email, another tweet yesterday was from Cheryl Toth. I'm in Kuala Lumpur. I hope you're watching this morning, Cheryl. Not too disappointed by the, the game as it stands so far, although KLR losing 1-0. ISM with a lot of early pressure. ISM, I think, have got a throw in from the mystery corner. Indeed, they have. Ball cleared, right-footed for a throw in by Ashley Munsami. Player of the game for me yesterday, Ashley. Very good at the back. No real problems whatsoever. A few problems for ISM right now. Anna Riley, very consistent, just out of position now. She needs to clear that and get back into the centre of defence. Adopt that sweeper roll that Malika just covered for her. KL with a throw in from the far side. It's to the edge of the box. Cleared by Sienna Hagedorn. KL trying to work the ball between the players now. As it looks like a foul there from number 20 for the Bearcats, Ali Preisler. On Kiara de Brabant. No complaints, no arguments. Kiara straight back on her feet. Ready to receive their free kick from Iona. That's a very good free kick into the heart of the penalty area. ISM still trying to clear their lines. Good pressure from Ali, from Ali Prizer there. Making sure she didn't make the foul on that occasion. Sends the ball forward. Steffi Fernandez unable to get him to the end of that. Going to be a substitution for ISM. Georgie Pekin looking to take the field for the first time this morning. Replacing Sienna Hagedon. Looks like a slight change in formation. Georgie may be adopting a position on the left side of midfield. Kenzum Alim playing in the centre. Did very well yesterday evening, did Kenzum. 
got a few opportunities to come in and try and change the game and a very very hard working battling central midfield player Hannah Riley there clearing the KL attack handball there from the number 21 for KL a little bit harsh in my opinion Maya Nazareth just raised a hand to the ball innocuous There are indeed clear blue skies over this sea of green. This sea of green and gold. Yeah, home of the ISM Bearcats. Send me a tweet to uh, at Bearcat Doddy. Uh, having a little bit of trouble refreshing up here on the third balcony, but I'll make sure I get into a better position and read those off as soon as I can. So just under 15 minutes left of this first half. ISM Bearcats 1, ISK 0. A goal after 11 minutes from Ali Price from a Sienna Hagedorn free kick. Kay breaking down the line. This is a, a great run now. Lindsay Krieger there with a very good attack deep into the middle of the half. Unfortunately there, number 21, Maya Nazareth again. Bit of action in the last couple of minutes and couldn't keep the ball in play. Trinity with a long throw there to Kenza Manning. Kenza Manning controls the ball in the thigh, but ball just travels a little bit too far. Ashley, the sweeper for KL. Andre there with a the kick to halfway. Collected by Ali Preisler. That could be, I think that's just a little foul. Foul there from Kiara. Just clipped Ali on the heels. Another ball in collected quite comfortably by Andrea Handel. Need to just work that ball a little bit further away from the goalkeeper for those free kicks. Give the, this is the attacking midfield players a chance to get on the end of it before the goalkeeper gets. Just over 11 minutes to go in this first half. A little bit of cloud cover now is cooling things off. There's a nice breeze up here. I don't know what it's like down on the field, but nice breeze up in this commentary position. Strike from far out there from Malika, the goalkeeper. Andrea handles that one very well. I was just a little bit uncertain whether that was going to pop over her head. She grabs it with both hands. Kicks just short of halfway. Second ball picked up by KL. First ball. By ISM, Penzum Anning unable to control that ball. Ball goes out for a throw in. The exuberance of our one of our back at council ball goals just being reprimanded by the fourth official. Don't throw the ball at her, pass it to her. He exclaims. Ball there, this could be trouble for the Bearcats. Megan Martin out to meet that one. Forces the striker wide. Cleared off the line by Natasha Carlisle. Kiara de Brabant there with a golden opportunity to equalise for the Panthers. Great pressure from the ISM goalkeeper. Megan Martin closed it down exceptionally well. Forced a wide. Kiara unable to get a shot. Back in first time, had to take a touch out wide, just gave Natasha Carlisle Senior enough time to get back onto the line and to clear the, clear the ball. That was a very good chance for Carlisle, their best of the game so far. 
I'll give them a lot of encouragement. A lot of the game has been in their half. Their chance has been limited so far to breakaways just like that. Could be another one here, but Steffi Fernandez gets the ball back, controls it, keeps it in play, knocks it to Georgina Pekin. Substitution for the Bearcats, Steffi Fernandez leaving the Peña coming back on, another senior in the team this year. Throw in from Georgie. Shannon manages to clear that for Kale. Be another ISM Bearcats throw in. ISM will be looking to capitalise a little bit more on this possession. Good movement there from Lau Peña. Throw goes over the top of all of them. Kenzam unable to get hold of that ball. Maddie McPherson chasing this down, but Kale left back gets there before her. Good tackle there from Andy Preisler. Kicks the ball out off the number 11 for the KL. The KL managed to defend well again. Andy Preisler to the rescue. Third occasion in the last few minutes. There's a long throw there from Claire Nain. But that was again by ISM defenders. Madison with first and now. Using her speed, if she can get to this before Ashley. Ashley's coming across to close her down. Looks like that could be a corner or a throw in. Okay, it could be a th from the, the corner of mystery. Long throw there. From ISM, Georgie Pekin with a chance for a header. You're going in on the second ball, but fails to do so. Ball comes out to the edge of the box to Malaika. Pushes it wide to Andy Preisler. Andy Preisler, not the best first touch. Been dispossessed, but gains possession back. Kiara de Brabant take her on. It's a good tussle between those two players. Kiara tries to thread that ball through. Good defending from Natasha Carlisle. Stopped a certain goal earlier from Kiara. Play breaks down. Nice attempted ball there. Daniela Vanderbrink down there, freshman. She spent a lot of time on field. She looks a little bit a little bit overawed by the situation yesterday, but she's certainly playing a lot better this morning. She's a number two, she plays a right side attacking midfield player. Long throw there from Trinity McPherson. Alpena with a little scoop ball in. That's difficult, don't know what's going to happen here. It's in mystery corner now. And by the looks of things, Kenza Malling running into mystery corner. I guess that's going to be a, a corner. Lau Pena taking a position alongside Ashton and Sammy. Madison McPherson and a, a, a sister Trinity just inside the 60 yard box there. Daniela van der Brink trying to block the, the view of the goalkeeper. It's a nice free kick in, goes straight to Madison. Good clip. Clears the ball into the. Into the just behind the. Oh, sorry, just in front of the ISM def defenders. Georgina Pekin going across there to cover the. ISKL attack does very well and no the ball doesn't go out of play I was convinced that was going to go out of the field Georgie still putting pressure on Kiara de Brabant or was that Nora Taylor? I think that was Nora Taylor they, they do look similar it's very hard to see the numbers over on the far side sorry Taylor Newbolt Taylor Newbolt apologies So we've got a free kick here to ISKL. Shannon, Charlon Strang to take it. She does so. Cleared at the first attempt by Kenza Malin. Managed to make a tackle. Gets the loose ball. It's not a good pass though. Straight back to, to ISKL defence. Bit of work to do now to clear this from the lines from the Bearcats. Looking a little bit nervous at the back. Just for the last minute or two. 
there's a good clearance from Malaika. Leave some of the pressure. Ayers kept with another substitution. Can't see the number of the player who left, nor the number of the player who just came onto the field. Hopefully you've got a better view on camera. So a free kick in a dangerous position here for KL. Bearcats will be hoping they can clear this first time from the box. Straight out of play. It's not troubling anyone. Bearcats will be happy to see that one sail off the field. So Lindsay Krieger, number 11. Kiara de Brabant, number 12, They're adopting the up positions for KL. All goes straight to Lindsay. Deflects back out to the number six, Jocelyn Lee. Tidied up by the ISM defense. Malaika now with a long through ball. Could be Georgie Peekins. If this turns the right way, doesn't quite get to it. Some nice defending in the left corner there from KL. KL sticking with a 1-3 formation at the back, but ball falls again to Georgie Peakin. Georgie Peakin tries to hook that ball back in. It's given offside, even though the ball went nowhere near any of the offside players. Interesting decision given the new rule. I don't think any of the ISM players were anywhere close in that ball. We'll stick with the Linesman and referee's decision. We accept all, good and bad. The true spirit of IS is showing through, no one complaining on the field. Only yours truly up here in the stands, 60 yards away from where that decision was made. You can see some of the ISM students now streaming out along the balcony. The rest of you do the same. See if you can convince your teachers to let you come out and watch this game. Our well, Bearcats need all the support they can get. They're winning right now, but with your support, we couldn't make it for three. Oh, the ball's just drifted out of play there. Just joined the balcony here by a few of our ISM students. Which fantastic teacher has let you come and watch the game, guys? Uh, Miss Bailey. Miss Bailey, wonderful. That's what we wanted. All in the same class. Thank you. Madame Bailey or Miss Bailey? Madame Bailey. Can you say that in French? Yes. Madame Bailey. It's great to have teachers who let you out to watch football, and it's better if they know more about football. Can you say that in French? <laughs> no. But thank you. Good to get as much support as we can get out here. More and more students streaming out. Now with Trinity a chance. Side foots the ball just wide of the post. Keeper's right hand. That's another chance. Causing problems for those from those free kicks on the left side. Ashley Munsami there. I can't tell if she's hobbling a little. If that's her natural gait. She just looked like she was limping a little bit. I hope not. She's been a very, very solid player for, K for KL so far. Nice little through ball. I don't think Lau Penu in mystery corner now. We can't tell if Lau's going to get that one. Body language of the players says no, she did not. Goal kick to KL. Give on Sammy to take it. Right footed. Again, ball breaks to Trinity, unable to get the ball first time. Free kick given. Got some more ISF students just arrived on the third floor balcony. Which teachers let you out this time? Uh, Miss Bowers. Miss Bowers. Mr. Kuchowski. 
Charles Bowers, Madam Ben. Fantastic, we love it. All right, the rest that are sat in your classroom, jealous of these students that we have up here on the balcony, remember just inception. Football, 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 football. We've got 10 minutes left of this half. Bearcats leading, 1-0. to zero. A goal from Ali Preisler. 10 minutes to the half. Three kicks from Sven Aperdon. Ali just got there before the goalkeeper. Just guided the ball past the despairing dive into the bottom left-hand corner. So Bearcats looking to improve on their results yesterday. Goals beaten in both of their games by Singapore 1 and by Jakarta. The Dragons 1-0. The boys unfortunately this morning had a tough game against the Dragons. Losing 1-0 to a penalty. Their game this afternoon they'll be looking to make amends and get back on the winning track. Having won both of their games yesterday. Goals from Dan Conboy and my favourite German. Paul Clausen.